All right, Rob, you know, it's a painting known around the world. A Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte by French artist Georges Seurat. And now the Art Institute of Chicago, where this painting has been on display for decades, is reframing it. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar got a rare behind the scenes look at the meticulous work to take care of a masterpiece. For the Art Institute, it's a destination piece. It's one of the most recognizable paintings, not only at the Art Institute in Chicago, but in the world. All the rules are broken, and it's broken by this artist. He has been here since 1924. George Seurat may have painted a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte 150 years ago, but it still has a place in pop culture today. After all, it was the inspiration for the Broadway musical Sunday in the Park with George. It was on full display in a memorable scene in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This little girl is very, very famous because he stared. They have this amazing hypnotic uh, relationship. The painting even inspired a modern day meme. It's a work that everyone, when they see it, they can't believe they're seeing the real thing. But what do you do when an irreplaceable masterpiece needs a new frame? It's hard trying to second guess a genius, that's for sure. <laughs> With Seurat, what's so humbling is that it's all on his terms and that anything you do is going to affect the paintings. That daunting task. Yeah, I'm building the frame. Roughed out by hand. Now in the hands of Kirk Belmont. And if he pulls it off just right, he hopes no one notices his craftsmanship. Now if we're successful, you really won't pay attention much to the frame. An update to a classic that will continue to inspire the art world and beyond. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Well, if you want to check out that iconic painting when it returns to display next week, the Art Institute has strict COVID rules in place. You need proof of vaccination and non-members need to buy tickets in advance and everyone must wear a mask.